John, talk about some herbal therapies for seasonal affective disorder. Okay. Um, there's more to it than just herbals that you can use. Okay. One of the things that you can use that is most readily available is sunlight on, on bare skin. Um, I know from my own experience that for um, all the years that I lived in the southeast and then also in the southwest, I did not ever have seasonal dis uh, the seasonal disorder mm -hmm. because I was always out in the sunshine every day, even though the days were shorter. And uh, in fact, they were shorter than they were out here sometimes because there was no dusk. Mm -hmm. I didn't seem to have that problem because just being outside. Yeah. No, yeah. I think one of the things, I mean, we do in this area is uh, we're, I think we're the second least amount of sunshine in North America in the Pittsburgh, Cleveland area. So therefore, it's not that abundant. But if you get a chance to be in the sunlight, do it. Mm -hmm. Now, filtered through windows and things like that is not as good. You actually have to be outside in the fresh air and try to get as much as you can. Yeah. One of the things Dr. Christopher talked about was taking sun baths. And he would take a sun bath every day, even in the winter. And that was in the Salt Lake City area. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'd put sheets up and he'd go out and and uh, get inside those sheets and get completely nude, even in this freezing weather. Mm -hmm. Just to absorb the sunlight. Right. Um, one of the other things that is good that I would look into is feng shui, okay. you know, which is an oriental um, type of um, program where you decorate your house according to your to your birth sign and things like that, different areas. Uh, you put different things in your house, like uh, running water, like a little waterfall and things like that. Mm -hmm. Things that will cal calm your nerves, uh, facing certain ways, you know, yeah. things like that. Uh, having certain types of furniture, have certain types of decorations and that. That helps some people. Now, I've read too, and actually experienced myself, that alpha waves are helpful. Yeah. Um, is that, do you... I'm not, I'm not an expert on alpha waves, but I've heard that also, that they do help. Another thing is, uh, is uh, St. John's wort. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's some psychiatrists now that are actually prescribing St. John's wort for depression. Okay. There's other herbs you can use, uh, valerian root, things like that. Just mm -hmm. having a good all-around um, diet will help. Yeah. You know, having, um, you know, regular bowel movements, things like that. Yeah. You know, from eating. Uh, things I would take away from my diet or from what I do is things that interfere with my uh, mental health, like like sugar, mm -hmm. refined sugar, refined uh, flowers, things like that, uh, alcohol, mm -hmm. you know. Alcohol is very depressing, especially the next day if you ever indulge. Yeah, I've eliminated like alcohol completely. Mm -hmm. Sugar I'm trying, but you know. Yeah. See, that's one of the things I've, that Chris and I have done probably, oh, probably for a year now. We've we gradually weaned ourselves off with sugar. We still do a lot of um, some breads, mm -hmm. but it, we try to keep as uh, whole grain as possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about is I've got one of those super mixers, um, what you call it, uh, <laughs> that you can get all these attachments for. Oh, one, yeah, one yeah, like things a food I processor. Can, well, it's not a food, it's actually a mixer. and. Uh, it's one of those uh, miniature industrial mixers. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I, know I can't think mean. of the brand name right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, they have a, uh, a grain mill that I can attach it for it. And I'm thinking about getting one of those and then milling my own grain and making my own breads from that grain. Oh, that would be things fantastic. Like I'll be your client for bread. <laughs> yeah. But that's one of the biggest things is that... Uh, you know, all these refined flours and stuff like that, they're just so bad in the diet. Mm -hmm. Even if they're whole grain, if they're over-processed, even though they still have the whole parts in it, they're not as good. 
You know, I did some research um, a couple of weeks ago um, from the Mayo Clinic site, and one of the things that um, one of the things that they said was a symptom was uh, craving for carbs. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed I don't I don't buy you know packaged bread and have it at home. But at lunchtime, I'm craving bread too. I should probably cut that out mm -hmm. and like have have like whole grain uh, crackers or something like that. That might help. Yes, yes, and that's also great great for your digestion. And poor digestion is also one. Of, it's not only a symptom, but it's also a cause mm -hmm. of depression. And uh, you know, try to eat as much fruits and vegetables as you can. Yeah. As fresh as you can. I know this time of year it's almost impossible. I know Randy still has some growing here in his greenhouse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we shop at the farmer's market and places like that. We try to buy as best, the best food that we can possibly buy and as close to totally organic that we can boss possibly get. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, what about... Um... Frozen vegetables, frozen organic vegetables. They are, um, they're not as good, uh -huh. but they're better than most of the other options. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the kale that I just took out, I'm mm -hmm. gonna, this time of year, basically, everything goes into a smoothie, that's, you know? That's great, yes. That'll work? Yes, yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, some other things that you might get. Uh, I know I bought organic tomatoes at Giant Eagle the other day. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> but I don't know. See, well, that's one of the things you never know when you shop a big, big supermarket is where were they stored at, you know? Yeah. What was close by. You know, I have uh, one person that witnessed uh, a big store out in the West Coast that, they had a fly problem, and the guys in, around the organic vegetables, and he's spraying up in the air with fly uh, killer. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So even though they still sold that, those vegetables as organic, they no longer were. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have to be really careful on what you're doing. I only trust what I know myself, what I grow, and and uh, what I eat out of my, what we grow. Mm -hmm. That's what I trust the most. I tend to go someplace to buy, like mustard seed market mm -hmm. or someplace that's more invested in... Right, right. They are much better yeah. to talk. And one of the things I'd also like to bring up is um, naturopathic doctors. Mm -hmm. Instead of running to your MD who knows nothing, almost nothing about nutrition and is really controlled by the AMA, Big Pharma, and the Food and Drug Administration, I would trust a naturopath with some of my health care before I would trust them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And if you have an ongoing problem, go see a naturopath mm -hmm. or see a uh, master herbalist, somebody yes. that has some ideas that, uh, of natural ways of treating things. I know um, psychiatrists, you know, they want to put you on drugs right away, even yeah. though they are, you, some are prescribing uh, St. John's wort, but others are um, prescribing drugs that are, you know, just questionable safety. There's yeah. an herbalist in um, Cleveland, mm -hmm. in um, Chinatown, that I'm fond of, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been thinking about going there to see him about this. Um, we have about one minute left. What are your, your like, top three or five herbs that you would recommend? St. John's wort, uh, valerian, um, uh, just a lot, a lot of your fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C. Vitamin uh, C, okay. Um, oranges are coming into, into uh, being uh, ready to be harvested now in okay. Florida. Um, there's ways of getting them shipped up here to you fresh or fresher than uh, what you're going to get in a grocery store. And uh, some of them, you have to be careful. They haven't been washed and waxed and painted and things like that to make them look pretty. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, I did notice, you know, I did live in Florida for many years. And I know that I've ordered fruit from right from the groves. And, they're, and when I've eaten them up here, I don't know if it's me or what. They just don't seem the same as what I used to get in Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I don't know what the difference is. Okay, we are out of time. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. and we will do another installment next week. Okay.